Hey guys, it's Adrian BHA here bringing you another updated video. So I just did this video like what a couple weeks ago last week about how to add the HomeKit component into Home Assistant. And of course with the latest update of Home Assistant 0 0.66 style whatever, uh, they basically made some changes to the HomeKit component uh, allowing for some filtering and other options. Uh, so I thought I'd do a quick updated video on this on how you can set up the home kit component you don't need the uh, pin code anymore uh, it's even easier to set up than before so uh, we'll run through a quick tutorial on how to do that so if you're coming from homebridge and you need to know how to kind of remove that from your system uh, the way you can move forward with the new home kit component check out my uh, video from a couple weeks ago at least the first part of it where it talks about how to remove homebridge I didn't add that into this video. I figured you guys could just check out the previous video. I'll have a link in the uh, description below. Uh, so let's go ahead and run over the uh, few steps we'll have here in setting this up. So obviously, uh, for starters, we're going to add the HomeKit component into Home Assistant. Uh, once we get that added, then of course, <clears throat> all we really have to do is add Home Assistant into the Home app on our phone. And then of course, lastly, I'll kind of show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start by editing our uh, configuration.yaml file. Uh, we're gonna add in that new HomeKit component. So I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom here and find me an open section. Obviously the type of component is HomeKit. And at that point, really all we need is uh, if you want to filter. So I'm going to exclude some domains from HomeKit. So I want to exclude sensors and uh, scripts. I don't need to see all those in uh, my HomeKit app. Um, obviously, it's just an example of what you can do. Once you do that, we're going to restart Home Assistant. Give that a second to come back up. All right, next step is going to be to add Home Assistant to our um, Home app, basically on our phone. Uh, so here, of course, on the left, I have uh, Home Assistant pulled up with the web front end. On the right side, I have my uh, phone with the Home app open. We'll start by hitting Add Accessory. And then at the bottom it says don't have a code. We'll click on that. At that point you should see Home Assistant. So from there we are going to uh, click on the Home Assistant button there and it will ask us to type in the code. Now as you can see at the web front end at the top, HomeKit Setup, it has a pin code already generated for us. So we don't have to remember one. We don't have to come up with a one. It will have it here for us. We can just type that in. And I pulled it in, and of course now it's going to go through all the devices that it's bringing in. So I'm just going to blow through those real quick. But basically at this point, once you go through all that, you're done. All these devices are showing up in uh, the HomeKit app now. And you can of course edit them and create groups and whatever else you want in, uh, in the Home app there. And Siri will be able to control those. And of course, lastly, I just wanted to show you guys what that looked like. So uh, again, just gonna run through and have a fan kind of turn it on and off uh, between the two systems just to show you that they are synced up and everything is working as it should. As you can see, uh, I've got Home Assistant web for in the back end. There's my ceiling fan there in the middle. Uh, I also have my uh, home app pulled up on my phone and you can see there's a living room fan there as well. So we're just going to toggle between these two and show you how they should go on and off uh, properly. As you can see, I just turned off uh, the one on the phone and it went off on the web front end. So we're going to do it one more time. We'll turn it back on in the home app. And of course, right away, it turned it right back on in the web front end. That is the end of this video, guys. Like I said, this was just a quick updated video just to show you uh, how to set up the HomeKit component one more time since they kind of removed that pin code. You don't need that anymore. Um, so it makes it even easier to set up than before. 
Uh, guys, uh, let's do a quick run through everything we covered in this video. Like I said, it was just three simple steps. We started by, of course, by adding the uh, HomeKit component into Home Assistant. Uh, once we did that and restarted Home Assistant, then we, of course, added Home Assistant into our Home app on our phone. And then, of course, lastly, I showed you what that looked like in action. So, like I said, that is the end of the video, guys. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the uh, comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Thanks a lot.